It's Cowboys Eagles week. What's going on, everybody? Spunk your nice night. I want to come guys another video. Come at you guys for my Eagles Cowboys week 10 preview. So here it is. Eagles Cowboys, one of the biggest and most fierce rivalries in the NFL. Eagles coming to this game after um, a, a close call in Philadelphia against the um, Jacksonville Jaguars in Week Nine. The Dallas Cowboys have—it's been a rough go for them so far this year. They have been on a three-game losing streak. Um, that Prescott will not be playing this game due to a hamstring injury and it looks like he's going to be out for a couple of weeks for the Cowboys. <clears throat> I'm hearing that um, um, that C.D. Lamb is dealing with injuries as well. Um, Michael Parsons is coming back from you know, being, out, back, being out with an injury for the Cowboys. So yeah, the Cowboys have been struggling. They have absolutely been struggling. Cooper Rush will be getting the start at quarterback for the um, Cowboys in this game. And I'm telling you right now, I'm not sleeping on him. I'm not. Cooper Rush, when um, it, it, it wasn't last season, 2022, Cooper Rush came in after, after uh, you know, Dak Prescott went down that season, came in and took the, and took the um, Cowboys on the win streak there. I think they won like four or five straight games. And then they lost to the Eagles. <laughs> they, they they lost they, they got their first loss in that win streak against the Eagles. But um Sunday night football that year. Um but yeah. I'm not taking this team lightly at all. And also with the, for Cowboy fans, don't use this as an excuse. Don't use not having Dak. Have a Dak. Because he has not been playing that great all season to begin with. Don't take CeeDee Lamb possibly being hurt. Don't use that as an excuse. These players are paid millions of dollars to play the game of football. It's next man up mentality. The Eagles themselves are dealing with injuries. They got very lucky last week um, that, um, from what I hear, A.J. Brown is going to be okay. A.J. Brown, uh, they took him out as a precaution against the Jaguars, and that was definitely a big concern. But AJ Brown, it looks like he has a good chance to play in this game. So, yeah, uh, I expect Michael Parsons. <laughs> I definitely expect him to be back for the Cowboys. Jalen Hurts. I've been hearing about Jalen Hurts. They said that um his um his he's he's, he's battling. It was this he said he was battling a ankle injury. Then it says just rest. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Throat get <getting> dry there. <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to, to um Jalen Hurts, you no, know, initially the reports were saying that um you know he was battling an uh, ankle injury. But now they're saying, oh, he was just being rested. So I don't know what to believe when it comes to Jalen Hurts. Um, but I expect Jalen Hurts to play. This is a very important division game for the Eagles, and I expect Jalen Hurts to, to to go. I picked the cow. I, I picked the Cowboys in my weekly pick video on to win this game. I do that. I'm doing that out of reverse psychology. I'm picking the Cowboys to win by a score of um, 20. Um, 20 to 23. So like a late third quarter, I'm um, excuse me, fourth quarter field goal. That's what I'm picking right now. But then at the same time, the Cowboys are winless at home so far this year. So you just, you truly never know. In, in this league, you truly never know. But like I said, I'm not taking them lightly. I, I'm not, uh, I'm not underestimating the Eagles' ability to play down to their competition and lose to a team that they have no business to lose to. Right now, when it's all right now, the Eagles are the better team. Like I said, the Cowboys have been struggling all season. The Eagles have have uh, have generally played well this year. 
And right now the Eagles are trying to keep pace with the Washington Commanders and adding another division win to their to, to you know to their record, the Eagles. You know, this this would be huge with keeping up with the um with Washington. But like I said, I'm picking the um the Cowboys to win uh, 23 to 20. Crossing my fingers that I'm absolutely wrong on that. <sighs> now the keys to victory are very simple. It starts with the big men up front, the trenches, offensive line, defensive line. Those guys set the tone for the game. You guys hear me say this in every preview pre video, but it's the truth. The trenches are what wins football games. That's what sets the tone for football games. Um, Eagles pass rush has got to be. It, it, it's got it's got to be good in this game. They got to get pressure on Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush is one of those guys. You know, he is not a, a quarterback that's going to take off and but wow you with his legs. But he is a he is a very serviceable backup quarterback that can sling the ball downfield. I think he actually has a stronger on the Dak. No, that no, I, Dak has never really been a super strong on quarterback. Um, but I, I think Cooper Rush definitely has a better better arm than Dak Prescott. But um, we got we got to make sure that he is uncomfortable in that pocket all game. We have got to get the pressure on him very early in this game. Uh, try to force him into some mistakes. Um, all no defense got to make sure that we're getting off the field. Uh, no, we, no, we're getting off the field. Um, three and out drives in this game. The running game for the Cowboys really doesn't scare me. Dalvin Cook and. Um, yeah, Dalvin Cook and Ezekiel Elliott. You know, they they have one of the worst the worst running the rushing attacks in the league. Um, not not necessarily really scared of the of the Cowboys rushing attack because it's been non-existent all year. Um, the the Eagles um the Eagles got to get the get the running game going on Iron. Get the running game going. Shaquan Barkley, who has been amazing for the Eagles since we all season. Get the running game going. That will open up things to the pass game. To, you know, Grant Calcaterra, A.J. Brown, I expect him to play. And uh, Devontae Smith, you know, get, get you know get that pass game going. O-line definitely has to protect Jalen Hurts. Michael Parsons is coming back for the Cowboys. Got to make sure that Jalen Hurts is protected. When it comes to the Cowboys defense, they have been struggling all season. Their, you know, defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn, is now, of course, the, um, their former defense coordinator is now the head coach of the Washington Commanders, and you know, to to his, to his credit, they're they're doing he's doing a wonderful job with the Commanders right now. We'll see that team very shortly, but um, this week is about the Cowboys, of course. But um, the the, the defense of the Cowboys have been struggling quite a bit, especially the um the secondary. Um, um Diz is having one, is having hit the worst season of his career. He has been getting burned quite a bit. In, quite a bit this season. I'm telling you right now, that's something we need to explore. We need to explore it early. A.J. Brown versus uh, uh, Trayvon Diggs, that's one. On the, um, that's a very good matchup. But, you know, A.J. Brown tends to get the better of them. On the other end, um, Devontae Smith up against um, their other corner, Bland, he tends to get the, best of, the better of Bland quite a bit as well. So, you know, the, the pass the attack I know it could definitely be very efficient in this game, and I expect to be very efficient in this game. Um, so yeah, you know, they, they, you know, they, their defense has been struggling with, you know, since Dan Quinn left with the Washington. But I am not taking this team lightly by any stretch of the imagination. You know, like I said, I picked them to win the Cowboys, 23 to 20. But I am absolutely crossing my fingers that I'm wrong on that. You know, that the Eagles go out there and they get the job done. But offense, special teams, defense. Everybody has to do their job. And once this game is over, hopefully with the, with the Eagles victory, I don't I don't want to hear Cowboys making the Cowboy fans making excuses. Eagles are battling um, injuries, you guys are battling injuries, but at the end of the day, it's next man up mentality. So we'll see what happens, you know. But offense, special teams, defense, everybody has to do their job. Jake Elliott, um, making those kicks, you know. Uh, official kicking, everybody has to do their job. Now, one thing Eagle fans and Cowboy fans can um, agree on, we both hate our coaches, <laughs> our head coaches. I know I don't care that the Eagles are winning right now, 
I'm 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 still not I'm I'm not convinced when it comes to Nick Sirianni. I feel like the Eagles are winning in spite of Nick Sirianni. And I know the Cowboy fans, a lot of you guys are y'all y'all miserable with, with um with, with um Mike McCarthy. I, I I can see it, you know, and you know, so that's one thing we agree on that you know most Eagle fans, most Cowboy fans, we don't like our coaches. I feel like, like I said, I feel like the Eagles are winning in spite of Nick Sirianni. But this week, like I said, I'm picking the Cowboys to win, but I am hopeful and that the Eagles go out there and they win the, and they get the job done. So, um, yeah, that's my preview for the game. No, not a whole lot to say about it. Um, go out there, birds, and prove me wrong. Get that W. Um, and let's get ready for the Washington Commanders next week. That's going to be huge. This is huge right here, but that's going to be huge right there when it comes to the NFC East standards, of course. So, But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. As always, go birds. Spunky Nights 91 is out of here. Fly, go fly. Peace.